Welcome back to Mountain Connections. Right here in Utah right now, there's an opportunity to help support adult learners with new skills and happening across the state. There's important legislation that is hopefully coming down. Governor Cox is involved in this as well. And here to tell us more about that is Jean Hayes from Western Governors University and also a student from WGU, Kaylee Dodano. We're thankful that they're both here. Jean and Kaylee, thanks for being here today. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure having you both here. Absolutely. Jean, tell me more about this opportunity to help support and reskill adult learners across the state. Well, uh, you know, the, the pandemic has been bad for many, many individuals uh, in, in many ways. And obviously that affects a, a lot of individuals and there's a lot of individuals who uh, for whom education will be, you know, the catalyst for them to change their situation, to reskill, to upskill. And during the last legislative session, a lot of wonderful uh, things happened through education. There was Bill HB 328, which basically created the Adult Learners Grant Program. And that program allows individuals who haven't had a chance to finish a college degree to be able to pursue it and get help. And we have, I don't know if, if you know the data, but we have 370,000 individuals in Utah that have some college but no degree. That is a big number. And HB 328, uh, sponsored by Representative Lowry Snow, um, will help these individuals financially so they can pursue their, their dreams and, and be able to better support their lives and pursue their careers. And Utah is also the state with the youngest median age of 31, which means there's a lot of opportunity for these skills to be able to come to adults who maybe haven't finished their degree, as you mentioned, or maybe want to switch and change and find other opportunities within their field or go to a whole other field. Jean, how is WGU involved in this? Well, uh, WGU has been working with not only Representative Snow, but several other of our wonderful legislators and under Governor Cox's leadership, uh, Yushi, uh, the Utah System of Higher Ed, also involved. So there's a lot of players for whom uh, getting Utahns an opportunity to improve their lives. Our mission at WGU is to change lives for the better by creating pathways to opportunity. And I believe that if you ask anyone within the Utah higher ed system and the governor's office, they would love for more pathways to opportunity to be ready. So we have been working with uh, some of these uh, legislators and many others so that we can expand access to education. And Kaylee, you are actually from Park City and you're a student right now at WGU. Tell me more about what you're pursuing and your education and where you're at. Um, yeah, so I'm finishing my student teaching next week, <laughs> um, and I, uh, I'm i from Park City originally, but I've kind of gone, I've kind of bounced between colleges, um, none of them really worked for me, and WGU really, really made it happen for me. Um, I found out I was a going to be a single mother in the middle of my education um, and WGU really held my hand and was like, you can do this, you can, you know, succeed in this. And so I'm doing it. And my daughter is 21 months old and I'm still finishing on time and on track. Um, and I love my job. So that It's exciting to hear. Tell me more about what age group you'll be teaching. I am in the elementary program um, and special ed. So I am going to be certified through high school for special ed. And I did some student teaching at the high school here at Park City. And I'm doing, I'm finishing up my uh, student teaching at Carly's Park Elementary School. Um, so I'll be able to teach all grades from kindergarten through 12, kindergarten through sixth grade for elementary and kindergarten through 12 for special ed. And Kaylee, what is it specifically about WGU that really 
was the right fit for you and helped you finish your degree, especially during some tough changes throughout your time in education? Yeah, I mean, obviously COVID was a big issue for a lot of um, people and stressors. <laughs> Sorry about that, I'm at school. <laughs> and WGU really was, um, while everyone else was kind of surviving, WGU was already um, kind of there with the technology and they just kind of were like, um, anytime I had a stressor or things like that, I could just talk to my mentor and she would listen and kind of give me the best way to study, uh, to move around my schedule. Um, my schedule is crazy um, with a toddler and, and working and student teaching. Um, and so I was able to find, you know, professors are all over the country. So if one professor wasn't available, you could uh, pick a different one. If one professor didn't work for you, if you didn't mesh with the way they taught, you could talk to another professor that taught the same course who maybe was in a different, I've had professors in Indiana, Georgia, California, um, and so whatever time zone works for you, um, you can get it done and you can turn in assignments at 2 a.m. if that's what time you're awake. <laughs> so it's really nice that way that, you know, it, the flexibility really helps out and, and helps you to get things done. And Jean, Kaylee is an excellent example of someone who's greatly benefiting from WGU flexibility, its programs, and is an adult learner here who is able to start this exciting new career at school and now taking time with us. So Jean, I'm curious, what is it about WGU? You are very student-centric. In fact, you've been called the most student-centric university in the world. So what are you doing to go beyond conventions and to change things and make this work for all your students? Well, uh, uh, first of all, I would agree with you. What an amazing uh, testimony we just heard of the power of education and the flex how flexible pathways allow individuals to be able to progress, improve their careers, etc. I believe that uh, there, there are two specific things that are amazing at WGU and why we do what we do. I already mentioned what our mission is to change lives for the better by creating pathways to opportunity. But if you take that mission in strategy, strategy is about making choices, trade-offs, about deliberately choosing to be different. I'm quoting Michael Porter. And if you think of choices that WG made, WGU made early on, the first one you already mentioned, being student-centric. Sometimes we say we're student-obsessed. It's all about the student. And the second choice is we are outcomes-oriented which means that those two driving forces, imperatives, allow us to then continue to do everything that we do and align it with those choices, to provide mentors for the student, to be uh, focused on access and be focused on completion and have flat pricing so that students can benefit. We are competency-based. We are the leader in competency-based education, meaning we can reward students who already have certain skills rather than having them sit throughout the whole semester when they already know the material they can advance quicker saving money and obviously as as you know uh, there are i already mentioned there are education stakeholders across the state of utah that are hyper focused on creating those pathways to opportunity just like us and uh, we are very proud a lot of people do not know uh, that utah is our home and that we have 8,500 students in Utah alone that we are blessing uh, through our programs. And we have uh, almost 17,000 graduates in Utah who have changed their lives. And I believe being flexible and affordable and student-centric and outcomes-oriented is what is really making the difference. And Kaylee, what would you tell students who maybe are having a hard time within their higher education or are concerned about going back and feeling intimidated and finding themselves in similar circumstances as you? Do you have any quick advice for them? Well, at WGU, it's not as intimidating. You're not in a classroom full of you know young kids who are just graduating. Um, and you're kind of on your own, like you're, you're moving through it at your own pace. Um, I've actually had uh, two other of my coworkers, I convinced them to 
actually three others that they all moved away, but they're all continuing their education through WGU. And so that's been um, great for them. And they just, just being able to like kind of use your resources and talk to your mentors and talk to your professors and don't be afraid to ask them questions. Of, um, and then if you want to engage with students, other students, you can through the cohorts, which is super awesome um, because you know, you usually are with someone who is at your level. You're not necessarily someone who's just coming right out of high school. Um, and you're able to kind of talk to each other about your own issues with, um, like right now I'm in a cohort because of student teaching and everyone across the board has a different situation, but you're able to collaborate. And so collaboration is key and not being afraid to do that. Um, I think that would be the best advice would be collaboration with um, the employees at WGU and the students and take advantage of those opportunities. Well, Kaylee, it's exciting to hear about your experience and looking forward to finding out more about what you do after you finish and graduate. And thank you for joining us and taking time away from your students to be here with us today, right here on Park City Television. And also thank you to Jean from Western Governors University for joining us and letting us know about the opportunities at that university. If you wanna find out more about that, as well as this adult education legislation initiative across the state, head to wgu.edu. We'll be back with more right after this.